Well, good morning. It's another day. Um, here in Cumbria, it is a lot brighter and calmer than yesterday. Last night when we went to bed, or even just sitting in the evening in, in the cabin, um, there was a proper storm raging. It was just a heavy rain. The winds were galing everywhere. And we were just all snug, sitting there in the living room, curled up. So although the cabin looks like a wooden camera from the outside, inside it's very much like a house. I'll do a little tour later. Um, but inside's very much like a house and it's insulated to the same level. So it was so cozy. Um, but yeah, it's built just to blend in with this old ancient woods behind me. And this is brow wood. It's classified as an ancient wood. So they don't want to, they don't want to cut anything down. Um, they don't want to change it. They just want to have a few cabins that blend in with nature, which I can fully get on board with. Um, but yes, today anyway, it's a lot calmer, a lot less <laughs> rainy, and well, we haven't had any rain so far. I think we might be predicted some for later. Um, but at the moment, it's dry, it's not too windy, which is lovely. So we're gonna go for a walk around the estate. Um, Heidi's just had a bubble bath on the deck, which is lovely. And um, we're gonna sit down and have some breakfast and then we'll set off for a walk around the estate, I think. Try and just enjoy nature and the fresh air while we're still here. Before we set off, I thought I would do a little tour for you. So we have this lovely view outside, which you'll have seen. And inside the cabin is this lounge area. That is the kitchen, little dining room area. TV. And here is the bathroom with a really lovely waterfall shower. It's a very good shower as well. Kitchen area with induction hobs and oven. And then through here is the bedroom, which has some lovely simple designs. And that again looks out Hello. to outside. Hello, you come to join me? Daddy, can I have a cookie? Yeah, I'm sure you can have a cookie. So yeah, this is it. Our small but sweet and cosy cabin. Right. All ready, get my coat on and then we are going to go for a walk. <laughs> Oh, the ground is so squelchy. Can you hear that? You can see just up there are the next two cabins which are being made. So there's going to be four in total. And they look out over this amazing view. Can you imagine this on a clear summer's day? Oh my God, it's going to be glorious. Oh. We had so much rain last night that the the ground here is so boggy. It's just sucking the wellies off your feet. But we're continuing on. We're gonna try and um, follow the footpath towards Dacre, where we were yesterday, and see how far we can get. 
Well, we uh, haven't gotten very far at all. Um, the ground is just so, so, so boggy. Um, so we're going to turn back and drive to where we're going. Um, so we've decided we're gonna go just a little bit past Dacre to Dale Main House, which I mentioned yesterday. Um, and they are the family as well that own um, Dacre Castle that, um, that I took you to yesterday briefly. Um, so we are going to go and see if their house is open for garden wanderings. So that's the plan now. We're just slowly making our way back to the cabin and go pick the car up. Upside down. I can see you're upside down. What are you doing? <laughs> Well, we have just arrived at Dale Main Mansion and Gardens. It's a place that I've wanted to come for absolutely ages, um, but it's, it's just so far out of the way from where we live. Um, and even when we come to the Lake District, we generally get sidetracked by um, Ambleside and Rydal and all those places. Um, so yes, while it's so close, I couldn't resist popping, popping by to see it. Um, a little interesting fact about Dale Main is that it is home to the original um, marmalade competitions. Oh, here comes Heidi. Mommy. Hello. Am I allowed to have the camera which Daddy's got, please? And be really careful with it. Mm. Please. Maybe. When we go in the garden. What are you going to take pictures of? Um, flowers, which I think are nice. Sounds a good idea. Let's go see if we can find some flowers, shall we? Sixteenth century great barn. And it looks like the entrance is just through that doorway in the far corner. Let's see. Oh yes, lovely. Well, there she is, Dale Main Mansion. I'm not sure on the exact history of the house, um, but I know that Edward Hassel, upon seeing it a good few hundred years back, um, purchased the house and then proceeded to do the gardens, which I think were built in the 1700s. Um, yeah, like I said yesterday, he also purchased the um, castle in Dacre. So that is still owned by the family who live here. So this is still a family home. I don't think you can go in without booking a tour. So I can't take you around the house today. But we're just gonna go and have a little wander through the gardens. And Heidi's all uh, happy. I've let her use one of my cameras. So she's off getting a few photos, bless her. The views from the house though, they're so lovely. It's just nothing but greenery. It's beautiful. All of these rose hips. Looks like it'll be a lovely tree in the in the summer months. Another fellow rose bush. Oh, this one here's still got some roses on it. Last flush before winter's fully here. Oh, isn't that beautiful, Heidi? I can see the little rose, yeah. Oh, lovely. There, yeah, little rose. Oh, good job, darling. Perfect picture. Go on then, you get the perfect picture. Oh. Really if you can good. see the drips. 
and all oh, the dew drops. The dew drops. Oh, lovely. Dew drops. <laughs> I'd love to. Come on then. Oh, this view looking back at the house. Really pretty. Imagine having that view from your window. My goodness. Some very lucky people. Right, let's go through the pathway and find where Heidi's just run off to. I see them. Look at this path, all made of shells. How lovely. Ooh, and there's one on this side as well. That's different. I've never seen anything like that before. Not in a garden. Right, Heidi has dashed off. There's the greenhouse. You spotted a zebra? Where is he? I haven't. Oh, Heidi's just showing me. Ooh. I accidentally got two pictures. That's fine. What can you see? He's just over there. I see him behind Daddy. It looks like it'll be such a lovely garden in the summer months. At the moment, everything's dying back, preparing for spring. So this entire path here, all the way down to the bottom, is called Rose Walk. And it would look absolutely amazing in summer. I might have to pop back. Everything along here is just roses. As you can see, there's still a couple out here. But yeah, this would be beautiful to see in the summertime. So I might plan a June, July trip back, I think. Right, I think this section is called the Summer House. Be nice alfresco dining corner, especially with the views. Looking straight back down Rose Walk. Down by the river, by the so you can keep following this path out of Delmain Garden all the way down. You can see there's a gate at the end that will that will cross through a load of fields and will eventually take you to a dacre the village that we were at yesterday for our lunch and where the castle is. Basically follows the river the whole way along to the village. All right, madam. Yeah. Shall we get going, darling? Oh, we found this woodland path that runs parallel to the garden. So we are going to take this and see where it leads. Oh, be yeah, be careful on these slippy rocks. Woo! Yeah, be very careful. Mr. Dragon. Do you mind if I take a photo? <laughs> of course you can take a photo. Oh, you're asking Mr. Dragon, can you take a photo? <laughs> you're very cute. Mr. Pheasant. I just startled him. I just spotted this little uh, collection of gravestones. What have we got? Oh, it's for all the animals. Huh? Look, Heidi. Tadpole, budge, jock, bunty, duck. Yeah, duck. <laughs> a few funny little names. Let's look. Duck. Come on, let's see if we can find duck. duck. Where's duck? duck. Duck's, but I think it's like actual animals. 
Yeah. And all the doggies. This has what they are as well. So tadpole was a wire-haired dachshund. Yeah, Fudge is a Norfolk Terrier. Got Minnie up there. She's a miniature dachshund. Jock was a bearded collie. Elika the Dalmatian. You're gonna snap us. Well, we have finished our little wander around Dale, Maine. So we are gonna head off and begin our journey home. I hope you've enjoyed our little mini trip to Cumbria and I will see you tomorrow. Have a lovely evening.